Hello everybody, welcome again. This is Aaron Porter with Ascend Engineering and today I'm going to be showing you how to import your custom models into Gazebo. What we're going to be covering is how to scale down your models using Blender, then import that model into Gazebo, then the model goes into PX4's Gazebo instance. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we have Blender open. Now, what we're going to start off with is we are going to open up Files, Import, and STL. The next we are going to go to our folder location, so Custom Models, Charmander, Meshes, Charmander STL, and as we can see, we have our STL model right here so what we want to do is we want to scale that down so we go over here to the left hand side come down to scale the next thing we grab this outer ring and we pull it towards the center just to scale our model down now we can see that it's smaller than before this is a pretty good size and now we click File, Export, STL, and Custom Models. We can just save this right back into the exact same spot. Export STL. And that's everything that we need to do in Blender. Now we go over to Gazebo. I'm not gonna save that. Um, so as you can see, I have VS Code open and Gazebo open at the same time. Uh, what we have over here is the folder for custom file, custom models, and we have our Charmander folder, Meshes folder, the model that we just saved, and what well, we just edited and saved. The next that we have the model config. This is standard for all Gazebo models. The next up, the model. Dot .sdf file. I'm going to quickly run through this real quick and it's pretty much just an XML file. Uh, the version of SDF, model name, it's pose, so where it is based on X, Y, Z, and this is yaw, pitch, and roll, I believe static is set to true just to make sure that when I place the object it doesn't fall and clip through the floor the next up uh, we have our link name and a lot of geometry stuff here I'm gonna go through what each one of these does individually but they're pretty much similar um, so I'm gonna start off with the geometry because both the visual and collision have the same have the same geometry setup, which is mesh. You import the mesh using URI model Charmander, which is the folder here. Meshes. The next up, the model that you want to use. So, since Gazebo only uses STL, OBJ, and DAE files, you want to make sure that your mesh file is one of those three. The next up, scale. You need to make sure that you put down the scale, otherwise it defaults to zero and nothing shows up on like the gaze on gazebo. And no collision as well. <laughs> so what is visual and collision? Well, they exactly what they sound like. Collision handles everything in terms of collision with your model and visual is literally being able to see your model in Gazebo here. So in order to insert our model into Gazebo, we go to insert, we click add path, custom models, I'm gonna choose that folder. And we see here that home Aaron custom model, I'm gonna click Charmander. And now we see our model is now in Gazebo. Give it a little bit to load and boom, it is now there. So now with that done, now it's time to bring this model into 
px4 gazebo instance so in order to do that i'm going to close this gazebo instance first i have q ground control open and i'm going to oh first before we do that i'm going to go into files and i'm going to basically just copy this chart manager folder into the folder that contains all of the px4 gazebo models so custom models control c home px4 this is like this is the testing ground pretty much where i do like all my modifications to px4 so in case anything ever goes wrong i can always just pull back from this version um tools that's Sido Gazebo, Models, and now we just copy, paste, Control V, and we see our Chart Manager folder is right there. So now if I just run my PX4 Gazebo simulation, drone so this means that our px4 gazebo instance is open we're going to go to insert and find our charmander model we then place it down near our drone and now our model is in the px4 gazebo instance environment but next thing we have to test is its collision with our drone. So I'm gonna arm the drone, take off, turn the drone around. This is a terrible angle, so I'm going to adjust the angle song. Turn my drone a little bit more and head straight for it. And as you can see, it has collision. Can't pass through it. And that is how you import your custom models into PX4 Gazebo's instance, into Gazebo instance, and scale them down so this way they can fit into your projects. Thank you all for joining us.